Archaism and Neologism What is Archaism? Archaism is an old word or expression that is no longer used with its original meaning or is only used in specific studies or areas. The word Archaism is derived from the Greek word Archaeos meaning ancient. Because archaisms are by definition no longer used much, here a few examples from Shakespeare and Jane Austen, with their meanings explained. Examples of archaism by Shakespeare This above all, to thine own self be true. The modern translation would be This above all, be true to yourself. On the other hand, archaisms are sometimes used in historical pieces, such as Pride and Prejudice. That reply will do for present. Perhaps by and by I may observe that private rules are much pleasanter than public. Archaism, by and by I may observe, means, in the end, I think. Public ones. Now we may remain so unfortunate as to lose your friendship. And I dare say that is an irreversible event. It is. Archaism, I dare say, means it's possible that... Why do you ask such a question? To make out your character, Mr. Darcy. And what have you discovered? Very little. I hear such different accounts of you as puzzle me exceedingly. I hope to afford you more clarity in the future. Archaisms. I hope to afford you more clarity means I hope to clarify what this means for you. This archaic dialogue provides the movie with authenticity imitating the language of that time period. Archaism shows that as time passes, language change, as new words replace archaisms. We forget words that we once used. What's interesting is that we can use archaic language for many purposes, such as to sound more official, authoritative, or magical and outdated language lives on in our most conservative areas of activity and that in itself gives it a special feeling. What is a neologism? Neologism is a new word or phrase is that isn't yet used regularly by most speakers and writers. Examples of neologism in literature. Literature is the source for many neologisms as creative writers create words when they can't find the appropriate word in their existing vocabulary. Example 1 Shakespeare's bedazzled from the turning of the shoe, patting out father by mistaken eyes. That have been so bedazzled with the sun that everything I will consume is green. The word Shakespeare in wait to describe the gleam of sunlight has come to describe rainstorm embellished clothing. In closing, neologisms are a reflection of language ability to grow and evolve with time, culture, and technology. Neologisms can be quickly and fun mix of words, already in extent or completely, new coinage made up from thin air. Related terms 
neologisms and archaisms are related in that neologisms replace archaisms. Neologisms and near words realize archaisms and outdated words. For example, to dial a phone has become an archaism because phones are no longer authorized and to sweet is a neologism which only appeared in the world since Twitter became a new means of communication. Neologisms are new words or new uses for old words.